1987, NASA launched the last of America's deep space probes. Aboard this compact starship, a lone astronaut, Captain William Buck Rogers, was to experience cosmic forces beyond all comprehension. In a freak mishap, his life support systems were frozen by temperatures beyond imagination. Ranger 3 was blown out of its planned trajectory into an orbit 1,000 times more vast. An orbit which was to return Buck Rogers to Earth 500 years later. The year is 1934, and America's favorite space hero is Buck Rogers. Back in those days, movies were for a nickel, and you'd go in whenever you came in, and you might catch the movie in the middle. You might wait until it's over, and then you'd watch the front of the movie till you come to the point where you started, or you just spend all day in the movie theater. This was depending upon what your parents were doing in town and what they let you do. Now, often between feature films, there would be news reels, uh, there would also be what we call serials. These short serials would be part of a longer episode that you would catch a few minutes of. And one of the greatest, of course, was Buck Rogers. Now, since every little boy wanted to be like Buck Rogers, Daisy Manufacturing, or the Daisy Air, Air Gun Company, started making the Buck Rogers Disintegrator Pistol in several models. The first one here in the, the bright brass color, it is actually metal. These things were very tough, well-made toys. And when you pull the trigger on the disintegrator, the little window right there starts sparkling and crackling because that little nut there on the top unscrews and it takes a flint, kind of like in a Zippo lighter of the day. So you put that flint in there, you pull the trigger, sparks start flying, and before you know it, you're fighting the forces of Ming the Merciless. Daisy manufactured these uh, different models from 1934 until 1946. That shows you just how long Buck Rogers was popular. Uh, as some of us uh, know, namely folks in my generation know about the, the 1978 uh, remake of Buck Rogers with, uh, with Gil Gerard and, and Aaron Gray, uh, but it teaches us to appreciate the past and learn a little bit, go back and see the original Buck Rogers. So come on down to the J.M. Davis Museum, check out our extensive line of mini toy guns as well as the real firearms, and see our Buck Rogers disintegrator pistol. I'm Jason Schubert, and this is Museum Minute.